Hello friends, so let us discuss the fourth problem from the latest code for Sir Javan Sun 50, problem named Whoopsin and Pupsin and Zero. Cool. Okay, so the problem goes like this. Uh, you can read the problem statement. I'll tell you in simple terms. It says that there's a person V and a person P. I just like uh, do some short form. Okay, so uh, the V person says that he doesn't like zeros. So you are given an array that doesn't consist of any zeros. Now P wants to create an array such that the array will be called B, okay? And the initial array is called A. So if you take AI and BI for every position, and if you do the summation of that number, it turns out to be zero. So it means that you have an array and you have to form another array such that if you have an array, let's say of size N, you will, you will make another array of size N such that for every ith element, you just multiply the AI BI element for every position, do the summation of all of those numbers, and it turns out to be zero. It should turn out to be zero. You have to make such a B array. Cool. That's the whole problem. Now there can be multiple ways to solve this problem because it's uh, some sort of a constructive problem. Constructive problems has multiple approaches, but uh, we can like pause at this video, try to think of some approaches, but one of the simple approach for solving any constructive, constructive problem is to divide it into smaller, like smaller chunks and solve it for individual sub problems. Cool. So let us, let us think for, let's say two numbers. If I have two numbers, let's say, uh, five and five. Now, how can I like multiply it with some another numbers so that it will become equal to zero. Now, one of the, uh, like simplest approach which comes to my mind is like do cross multiplication with itself. Let's say if I just take five here and five here, the total multiplication of this and this turns out to be 25. This also turns out to 25. And if I just make any one of them is equal to minus one multiply like, and then this turns out to be, if you just add up all of them, it turns out to be 25. That is zero. I hope you get the point. So it means that you have to take any two numbers. If they are yeah, like if they are forming a pair, if you just have any number a, like a one, a two, you just multiply the first number with minus a two and multiply the second number with a one. So if you do that, the multiplication of this will comes down to minus a one, a two. And this will becomes a one, a two. And if you do the summation of all the numbers, if there are two numbers only, the answer turns out to be zero. So I hope you get the points. It means that if you have numbers a one and a two, you can do this and you can do this for every two pairs, like every two consecutive numbers. So if you have, let's say a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, and so on, you can take this as a pair and do the same thing that is multiply this with a two minus a two and this with a one, then take this as a pair, multiply this with minus a four and take this a three. And that is because if you do this, then these two pairs with like as a whole will turns out to be zero. This will as a turn turns out to be zero and that's all. So if the total number of elements in the array is even, then you can do this approach. That is fine. It is giving the perfect answer. Cool. But now if there are odd numbers, then it will cause some problem because how can I cancel out the last number? Cool. So in that scenario, what you can do is that why not take the first three numbers or like any last number or any number you want and somehow cancel them out. So let's say that I have five numbers, a1, a2, a3, a4, a5. If I, one number will be remaining if I just form out pairs like this. So instead of taking the first pair, take this as a, like, like as a triplet. And for all the rest numbers, obviously I have taken out an even, like an odd number of elements from this whole array. So the remaining will be even. I hope you get the point. So if they are a6, a7, they will be even only like, so you can put the same logic here to do the things on this even half. Now coming down to this odd half, if I have numbers like this a1, a2, a3, how can I make this equal to zero? What, what numbers to multiply in this? Now there's one logic which you can like easily see here is that you have to use the same logic for two numbers, implement for three numbers. Okay. Nothing much, but how you can do that? You have to just take care of the condition that if you take any two numbers, like if you take that, the total summation of those numbers should be not equal to zero. I will tell you the case also, but let's assume that if I take these two numbers and the summation of them is not equal to zero. So what you can do is that multiply this with a3, this with a3 and this with a1 plus a2. Cool. So if this turns out to be minus a1 a3, this turns out to be minus a2 a3. 
and this turns out to be a1 a3 plus a2 a3 cool if you just multiply this with this and this this you just add it out so this will cancel out with this this will cancel out with this and the answer will turn out to be zero so this is the thing which is i hope you understand the point that if you have three numbers you just take the number that like the pair that is not giving you a total sum equal to zero so if you take these two numbers it should not be equal to zero if you just add these two numbers cool if the condition is satisfied then you will take the last number multiply with a negative sign on these numbers and take the summation of these two numbers and put it here because this number will mul multiply with the summation of this will give you the exact thing which you will take this number and multiply with these two individually cool now what i'm talking about that it is not equal to zero and is equal to zero and so on so my point is let's say that if you take the same thing and if the total summation is turns out to be zero so it means that the number is like this a1 minus a1 and let's say a3 because if the two numbers i'm talking about if the sum is equal to zero which means that they are just opposite signed elements because that only we can make them zero i hope you get the point and because they both cannot be zero zero is not there that is also not possible so uh for a no number is zero so for a numbers pair to be total summation equal to zero the number should be of opposite, opposite sides cool now if you take the same thing if you take like this that if you take this as minus a3 okay if you take this as a3 minus a3 minus a3 and a1 plus like a1 plus a2 that is equal to a1 a1 minus a1 so what you can see here is that this turns out to be zero because a1 minus a1 okay and this turns out to be minus a1 a3 it turns out to be a1 a3 okay and this turns out to be zero but this cannot be the one of the possible solution because i cannot take a1 a2 like a zero as the element in the b array so that is also not possible for us so that is why choosing out a1 and a2 is not actually recommended uh, to be of opposite signs that is the whole logic if you are of an odd length just take out the first three elements and uh, do this operation and if it is even then you can do this for every consecutive elements and like multiply that that's the whole logic for this problem let's move on to the code part now it's a constructive algorithm so what you can see here is that uh, start is zero if the total number of elements is odd then you will just check for every two elements that whether they're forming a total sum not equal to zero if they're not equal to zero if a1 and a2 are not equal to zero then take the third element that is a2 multiply with minus one in both the sides of a1 and like a0 and a1 you have to multiply with minus a2 and for the last number you will multiply with a0 and a1 total summation you have to do this for all the three possibilities okay any of them can be met okay and it is uh, definitely that any one of the pair will definitely met and if it is odd you will go through and your start will become at the third index now because the first second like zero index first index second index we have only calculated down for that if it is odd if it is even will directly go down to this while loop uh making your start equal zero if you hit this condition you will make your start equal to three and what you will do you will take every two consecutive numbers that is start and start plus one so you will multiply the current element with start plus one minus and the next number with start so it means that if you have two numbers that is three and five you will multiply the first number with minus five and the next number with three cool and uh, you will increment your start by two position because you have found out the answer for these two position that go to the next two position and so on so that's the whole logic and the code for this problem as you can see that uh, we are just uh, like forming out the answer for the situating from left to right and like, like greedily calculating the answer at this particular point so the time completely turns out to be o of n only and the space completely turns out to be o of n for sorting out the elements nothing else so that's the whole logic and the code for this problem if you still have not you can mention down if you have any other constructive algorithm you can do mention on the coin box so that other can also uh, read about the constructive algorithms thank you for watching this video i'll see you next one i'll be quick coding and bye well bye 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 bye